we're in uncharted waters really. Uh, the other day we walked in and, and, and a lady had left a note where the flower section was saying thank you, I was able to receive my flower today. Uh, we've had team members at the checkouts, uh, been given chocolates, um, and I was sharing the story earlier that uh, we actually had a customer in, in tears of joy because uh, she was actually able to grab everything she wanted within the community hour. So it's absolutely been great, the, uh, the uptake from it. We don't realise what we do and what we deliver for the customer until they come in and have a really emotional reaction to say thank you. Uh, we, 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 we're retailers, we put stock on shelves and we serve our customers the best we can. So we're having a really big impact at this time on people at home in their living rooms. Uh, we had about 250 customers uh, out the front of the doors this morning uh, waiting to come in at 7am. Uh, again, all in great spirits. Uh, obviously, it was a big shock when it first came on board uh, and it first started happening a couple of weeks ago. Um, however, as a business, we're really starting to catch up and, and over the next few days, you're really going to see some great on-shelf availability. Uh, we have to look at it with different eyes. Uh, we, we can't come in and have the same expectations we did a month ago. We can't expect to be to be to have a, a reduction on gaps and. And, and, to, and to have the best on-shelf availability that we would a month ago. So we've had a couple of changes. The first big one has been that we've had a relaxation of the visa restrictions for students. So instead of working 20 hours, they can work up to 38. So they've been quite grateful for that. We've seen an increase in the need for both our service department and night fill teams. So for example, the store that we're in tonight, uh, normally they would use about 45 hours to fill the shop and tonight they're using 100. So the volume of stock that's coming in and the hours that people are actually receiving at the moment it has increased substantially. Everybody is the same. We are seeing a big increase um, in the hours that we're requiring. In fact, we're having to the recruitment driver for 5,000 casuals. We're really looking forward to getting those new team members on board. Yeah. So I walk into a store and they've got a produce load that's just arrived and the, the shelves are empty. Absolutely ha jump in. And it's, um, it's a part of the job that I'm really enjoying at the moment actually is getting, my, um, getting back to being in stores and actually working. So pulling cardboard or jumping on a register has been great fun. So only this morning I was walking through the fresh produce area and a, and a lady came up to me and said, I really appreciate how planned and orderly it is this morning. There's no pushing and shoving. Um, obviously, you know, there's a few isolated cases that we see uh, on the news and things like that, that uh, there is some trouble and some hostility within the stores. Um, so we're getting those sort of inquiries. If, if, if I could reach out and, and, and speak to every single person in their living room, I'd just say, just grab what you need. Um, there is enough volume for everybody. We, in Australia, we will not run out of food. We will not run out of toilet paper. If everybody could just buy what they need for the week or two weeks, whenever they frequent their shop, uh, everybody about to grab what they want.